Today, we wanted to show you how to make bok chik gai, Cantonese white cut chicken. It's an absolute classic, especially around festivals. So this week, we've got a guest cook to take us through this, Steph's dad, Da Wei. Now, this is really one of those dishes that's made or broken by ingredient quality. You need a young chicken that's about one kilo, so abroad, I'd probably go with a large Cornish game hen. Best case, find a farmer, or at the very least, hit up your Whole Foods, because no matter what, this has got to be fresh. Living in China, we're super spoiled because it's tough to get any fresher than what Dawei is working with here today. Now, if you're not interested in learning how to work a chicken from scratch, feel free to jump ahead one minute in the video. What he's doing here is removing the feathers on the neck around the cerebral artery. It's important that you get the artery in order to make this quick and painless. Now with a very sharp knife, hold the chicken upside down and slice. The job's already done, just let the blood drain out for about a minute or two. To remove the feathers, dip the chicken in hot, boiled water that's about 90 degrees centigrade. Make sure that you get the whole chicken and just start plucking those out. This will take a bit, just work as quick as you can, ideally on a flat surface. Just make sure that you're totally free of feathers. Now cut into the neck and begin to pull out the trachea, and working from the other side, take it out. The trachea and the lungs are the only bits that aren't good to eat here, so get in that cavity and take out the organs, discarding the lungs. Cut out the fatty bit from the behind of the chicken, separate it out from the giblets, then cut the skin from the neck and put it in with the fat. None of this is going to waste here. Prep those giblets, and if you'd like to learn how, feel free to check out our Sichuanese stir-fried giblets video up here. The fat will get rendered out and makes for a great oil to toss in a quick lo mein. And later, we'll make a quick soup using our chicken poaching liquid with some lufa gourd, the coagulated blood, and those giblets. So fill a pot with three liters of water and start to get up to a boil. Chop off the feet and toss them in at first because they take the longest to cook. To season the poaching liquid, twist up a couple sprigs of scallions and put them in. Then grab a three inch nava ginger, slice in half, and give it a good couple solid wax, then toss it in. Once your water is at a boil, take the chicken by the neck and dip it into the water three times. What we're doing here is getting the cold water out from the cavity so that this cooks evenly. Now drop in the chicken, get it back up to a boil, cover, and shut off the heat. We'll come back to this in 10 minutes. While that's poaching, good time to make the dipping sauce. Take about 10 sprigs of garlic and julienne them by smashing, then giving them a bunch of fine chops about two inches into the scallion. Slice, then continue. Once you've worked through that green onion, grab a two inch nava ginger and get that into half centimeter slices. Cool method to smash is to use the edge of the knife to work through those slices, then tossing them in with the scallions. Now get a quarter of a cup of peanut oil till almost smoking, about 190 centigrade, and you could also use that chicken oil, then pour in with the ginger and the scallions. Now add about three tablespoons light soy sauce, roughly two tablespoons oyster sauce, a teaspoon of sugar, and three tablespoons water. Quick aside, the, this dipping sauce is a bit of a Lee family recipe. We'll also give a recipe for the more common restaurant dipping sauce down below in the comments. Back to the bird, give it a flip. Then bring it back up to a boil, cover, heat off, and let it poach for another 10 minutes. 10 minutes later now, take out the chicken and we gotta cool this down. There's two primary ways to do this, the ice bath method and the rice wine method. Both have their upsides. The ice bath makes for a nice crunchy skin, but the rice wine method gives a nicer flavor. Dawes, using the rice wine method, pour about a quarter of a cup of rice wine over the chicken and continuously spoon it over. This works because the rate of evaporation for alcohol is rather quick, allowing it to carry more heat away from the chicken. Once much of it's absorbed, set the chicken aside to cool completely about 30 minutes. And once it's cooled down, we can chop it up. If you're working off one chopping board like us, pour a bit of rubbing alcohol over your knife and board and give it a light. This will sanitize and is a smart move because this will end up going like straight to the plate. Now grab the chicken, separate the neck, chop it up, and separate the head in half. Chop out the wings and cut each of the flats, the drumettes, and the wing tips in half. Now with the legs up, cut the chicken open, then chop around the backbone to separate into two pieces. Slice down in half, right next to where the thigh adjoins the body, set it aside, and chop those into two pieces. Turn, and give it a few chops to get something bite-sized. Now grab the back half of the chicken, slice off the thigh, 
and do the same move with this piece. Chop it in half, turn, and give it a good couple bite-sized chops. Chop in half, turn, and some more bite-sized pieces. The thigh is pretty easy to cleave. Just cut it, place with the rest, and now you've got a whole broken down chicken. You can tell this is going to be tender and awesome just from looking at the bone. If the bone's nice and rosy, you know you'll be eating a great bok chick guy. So my family's method is the rice wine method uh, because traditionally you wouldn't have ice cube lying around. The other method is great too, but it's more of a restaurant thing. So check out the rather link in the description box for a detailed recipe. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. <laughs>